Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube. Here to help you break through fear, live an awesome, beautiful life. And I'm still working on, I'm still working on Ernest Holmes. I want to talk about success in business. Yeah. Success in business. All demonstrations take place within ourselves. Demonstration means change. Anything that is happening, demonstration is action. Anything that's actually manifesting. They, it all takes place when our, within ourselves. And I just did a video on this. Everything's coming from in here. Everything you see out there came from here. And here. But you're here. And here. And here. And there. And there. And there. And there. The law is always working always working from that inner pattern. We do not struggle with conditions. We use principles which create conditions. You're creating all these conditions. What we can mentally encompass, we can accomplish, no matter how hard it may seem from the outside. Wow, okay, I'm gonna read that again. What we can mentally encompass, we can accomplish, no matter how hard it may seem from the outside. Tell me I can't do something. Woo-wee! I'm all over it. Got a movie. First book. All external things are but the outer rim of inner thought activity. What's happening in here? Projects out there, right? You can easily prove this for yourself. If you are in business, say running an ice cream stand or counter, you're not doing good business, look carefully into your thought and see what you'll find. You'll find that it is an established belief that their business is not good. You're not feeling a sense of activity. You'll not find within your thought any feeling of success. You're not expecting many customers, and that's exactly what you're getting. Now, suppose someone comes along and says to you, What's the matter? Why are you not doing more business? This is about what the answer would be. Eh, people don't want what I have to sell, or I'm too old to compete with modern methods, or, well, times are hard. This is all negative thought. Now, this man to whom you're talking does not believe a word you have said. He knows the causation is in mind and not in matter, and he says, the whole thing is in your own mind. The trouble with you is that you don't feel that you are a success. Just like sort of what I tell you every day, right? It's not all, it's not all this stuff or so-and-so did this or, or whatever or my business isn't working. It's what you're doing that's creating that. It's in your mind. Perhaps you've heard something of this before. If so, you'll ask him what he means. Or perhaps you think he's talking about something peculiar, but we are taking it for granted that you are so anxious to do something to make your business success that you'll be trying anything. So you ask him to explain. Isn't that funny? Have you ever noticed when do we really do awesome things? When we hit rock bottom. I don't like to do that. I don't like to hit rock bottom to make a change. That's why I'm so active constantly. If I'm out of check, if I feel something's not right, I get on it because I do not want to hit rock bottom. I nip it in the bud because I know there's something else going on that may be projecting things, and I've got to catch that. Because that's when, we, you know, Eckhart Tolle, he was going to kill himself that night he had an awakening because there was no place else to go, and the mind gives up. It's ready. It's ready to check out. It's in so much pain that it just quits. And then you, that beautiful, pure, perfect love that you are, kicks in. I don't have um, waterproof stuff on, so... You know, I've seen videos and I have, like, black stuff all over my face. See, I don't care because I don't care. I'd rather give the message. So if you ever see that, I actually see that on my videos and I let it go because I want you to get the message and I don't care what I look like. So, all right. He begins by telling you all is mind. Nothing moves, but mind moves it and that you are, are a center in this mind, right? Everything is energy constantly reacting constantly. 
it's everything that you don't see, right? You do not understand how this relates in any way to your business, though. So he goes on to tell you that your thought decides whether your business shall be a success or a failure. Now, by the way, even if you don't have a business, your career, anything you do where you want to create income, this applies to. Anything. Any thoughts that you have of creating a business, creating a product or service, a job with somebody else, it's the same thing. Especially if you're a salesperson with somebody else, Nobody's coming in to buy my cars or nobody's coming in to, you know, buy my ice cream or whatever. Or I should be making bigger sales financial people. Oh my gosh, we were constantly like having to sell, sell, sell. And then you wonder why it's not happening. We're doing it, right? He goes on to say that your thought decides whether your business shall be a success or a failure. Here you, you become indignant. Ask if he means to tell that you want to fail. Of course you don't want to fail. He explains that while you wish success, you're thinking failure. And I've told you this before. You sit here, you, mm -hmm, I am wealthy, I'm the, and there's something back here that goes, you struggle, you've struggled your whole life. You've never had that kind of money. Do you know how ridiculous it, it, ridiculous it is for you to think that you could be a millionaire? When you come from a poor family, your mom and dad told you, just go get a nine to five like everybody else. Work hard. That's the answer. And you're back here like going, yeah, mom and dad said nine to five. And up here you're going, I want a company. I want to make a million. I want to be a millionaire. I want to do good things for people. I want to have a beautiful home. I want to spoil my kids and other people's kids and give to my church or whatever it is you want to do. Back here you're going, that's for Bill Gates, right? That's what we do. A little war is going on, and you have got to overcome that battle. Don't fight it. Recognize it and go, that's the conditioning again. Okay, here he comes indignant. He says, you know, I don't want to fail. Of course he knows you do not. Of course he knows you do not, and he explains, oh, this person. So this person explains that while you wish success, you are thinking failure, fearing it. Fear. Ah, we've got to break through that. And that there is a law that makes your thought never asking questions, but at once sets about its fulfillment. There's no judgment. We've talked about this before. This energy of which you are that's reacting constantly to you, that you are commanding, you are in charge of it. You, you limit yourself so much, too, because you always have to, you know, well, I want this, and it has to come this way and this way, instead of just letting go and say, yeah, I want to be wealthy. I want to be wealthy enough for to buy any house I want, to buy any car I want, to send my kids to whatever college or my grandkids to any college they want to go to, to buy other people homes, to help people that are struggling, to send other kids to college, to do this. You can say all these things, Right? So the bottom line is that you are connecting this universe. It is not judging. It doesn't think. It's acting to whatever you're sending out to it. It just fulfills it. All these things that you're sending out, when you truly believe that, when you're saying all these things, and you truly believe it, and you give the directives, it's acting on those. So you become interested and you ask, how can this be? In return, you are asked this question, how did anything come into being? This sets you to thinking, and of course you realize that there was a time when nothing existed but life, so whatever has come into being must have come from that life. For what we must see comes from that which we do not see. The word, right? The creator supposedly spoke the word. That's where the word's so important. You have to admit that when you do not see that what you do not see must be the cause of everything. And you must admit that. And that cause works by law. This you are compelled to admit. When this law being everything must be in you, this is harder for you to see. It's hard for us to believe that's here. It's like, wait a minute, I'm doing that? All that you're, no, that's God. I'm not doing that. I'm just asking and then God does that. No, 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 no. 
You are of God. God created you. We're all part of the same energy. It's one energy with the ability to make individual decisions and choices. So then you, without knowing where your thought process were leading you, have conceded that you yourself are the reason for what happens in your life, be it success or failure. God couldn't make you any other way and at the same time make you a self-choosing individual. This is plain. So what are you going to do about it? This is what you must do for every time you have thought failure, you are going to replace it. I've talked about this, right? Even though it's a silly exercise, you replace it with strong, radiant thoughts of success. Maybe you're not feeling it. You've got to catch it. Oh my gosh, I am thinking failure. I am thinking nobody comes in here. I'm not selling the right stuff. I can't compete. That big store down the street's going to blow me out of the water. No, you're going to say, I'm going to come up with the right ideas. The right people are going to come in here. People are going to love me because I am the old-fashioned store with the great ice cream and the happy, smiling people. I'm going to have the right employees. I'm going to have the right products. I'm going to flourish. People are going to flow into my store, right? You're going to speak activity into your business. You're going daily to see nothing but activity and to know that it is law that you are using universal law, and as such, your thought is as true as the thought of God. This is where we struggle, right? Oh, blasphemy! By the way, there's probably some of you thinking that right now. I'm saying it. Guess what? I'm bringing it into my life. How's yours working? God is flowing through you. It's an energy. It's a power. Not a person, not a man with a beard in the sky. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not. Think about that. We've been told that. Do you know how ridiculous that is? If you believe there are aliens, you know that can't possibly be true because we, we don't look like them. We all look different. We don't even look like each other. We have different skin colors and eye shapes and hair color and textures and we don't even look like each other. Why is that? Isn't that weird? I don't know what that is. All right, so daily you're going to give the great creative mind exactly what you want to happen. You see only what you desire, and in the silence of your soul you speak. You will speak and it will be done unto you. You will come to believe that a great divine love flows through you and your affairs. You will be grateful there for this love. So here we are. Ask, believe, be grateful, receive. It's all right here. It fills your life. It satisfies your soul. You're different. You're filled with activity and courage that when you meet people, they'll wonder at your energy. They'll feel uplifted. In the course of a few months, you'll be a success. Then they'll ask how you do it, and their answer will be the same that was given to you. Let the man who is speaking to the public do the same thing. Let him daily see throngs of people coming to hear him. Let him see nothing else. He will experience what he feels. Life is from within outward and never from without inward. You are the center of power in your own life. By the way, I did not read all of this. I know it seems like it. Page 40, demonstrating sex, success, success in business, creative mind and success. Hopefully you can see that. Ernest Holmes. We, we're like almost halfway through, we're like halfway through. So business, jobs, oh, I'm up for promotion, I'll never get it. That, I'm up against a Harvard grad and I'm not, you know, I, I barely uh, got through whatever. You, know. you, you could come up with all kinds of excuses. That's you, that's you creating your future. That's you creating it right there, all those thoughts. That's, that's, and the universe goes, oh, okay. Sure enough, you won't get it. I guarantee you, you won't get it. Speak power. Speak positive thoughts of success. Speak abundance. Speak gratefulness and love and light and know that God, the source of all things of which you are, wants nothing but love and light and joy. That's all it is. We have the choice of creating other things and unfortunately, we've done a really good job at that. 
okay, I've experienced it now, ready to go back to the light. Let's all do it. Speak success, speak power, speak abundance into your life, into your business, and then be open to what comes to you. Don't decide that. Don't judge that. When something shows up, say yes. Try it. What do you have to lose? Oh, that's my next video. All right, I'm going to do that next. Sending you great success, abundance, joy, wonderful things coming, flowing to you. Right now, I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it right now? There is powerful, wonderful things coming to you. Get ready for it. Be grateful. Thank God for all these wonderful things that are flowing to you right now. Namaste.